Well, hello everyone. Dan Hurt with Dan Hurt Prospecting here. Down here on the river bars, there are garnets everywhere and lots of them. I probably have a thousand garnets in my hand right now. We're gonna dig buckets and buckets and buckets of that stuff. We're gonna sift it out to different sizes and then use the gem sieves to see if we can find that one gemstone that's nice and big and beautifully gemmy. Dana just called me over to have a look at her shovel full. It is insane. It is a shovel full of red. Alex has the half inch classifier so that we might get a few of the real big ones. I saw some big ones go in there and they look jemmy. And here we go. Nice little bullseye here. Some of these are amazing. Here is the eight to quarter flip. And you can see there are lots and lots of oversized garnets in this one. Look at that one. That is incredible. Right from one side to the other, all red. And in the center of this, it's garnets down inch and a half. That's a feature of my domed screen. Nice. I brought the camera over for this flip because it could be incredible. What I saw going through, wow. One, two, three. Oh. Woo. Whoa. It broke up a lot on me, but I'm gonna have to do this one two or three times to get it all. There's so much it migrated everywhere. And here's flip two. Look at that. Getting a bit better at getting them all in the center. This was a nicer one. One problem is when I have just so much material with so many garnets, the center ring often just migrates outwards. It's just so much of it. I can just harvest that little bit and any others that sort of migrated out will get when we redo the pile. Now, as I said earlier, I like that loose mesh when I'm dealing with high volumes of garnets. But when you're only dealing with small amounts, you're trying to get just the very heavy, like just a small amount of heavies out of gravel, a rigid screen like this one does work better. And this is a rock full of garnets. That's the host rock, it's a schist. Careful how you say that word. And garnets throughout. Okay, this is gonna be an amazing flip. Here we go. Oh yeah, it's gonna be good. Oh yeah, look at that red. There's big ones too. And it's really deep in garnets. Nice work, Alex, digging this one. Oh, handful of big garnets. Okay, and let's just do my whole pile one more time to get everything else out of it. And here's the last quarter inch flip of the day. We have some nice garnets in there. Not all that many. All of these black things in the middle are actually garnets, but we're looking for the jemmy ones, the red jemmy ones. So we figured for the last bucket here, we actually put in the half inch stuff to see if we could find anything big. There isn't very much big here that is any kind of quality, but let's see, let's hope. And... So in here, I see a chip of garnet. That can go in. Another big garnet, but not really jemmy. Sort of an orangish garnet over here. Nothing really jemmy. Here's one. A garnet. A lot of these big black things are garnets, but just absolutely brown, opaque, nothing special. There's one, yep, there's a chip of garnet. Well, I got one more flip to do of the bigger stuff, and we'll see. And the last flip of the day. Wish me luck. Lost a lot of it over the edges, oh well. Okay, there's a nice one. Oh, there's another nice one. Little bit jemmy, little bit jemmy. They're not great though. There's a garnet, get one there. There's a garnet still in its host. How pretty. Thanks for coming along on our adventure here. If you liked the video, please leave that thumbs up. Leave a comment below, I love reading them. Until the next one, everyone. Bye.